Hello everyone and welcome back to another 1.20 Let's Play video. We've been in this world for almost 400 days and we're beginning to outgrow our starter house storage. So in today's episode, I would like to fix that by building a little hobbit hole storage room. So if that sounds like fun to you, then sit back and relax. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right in. This is what we are looking at with our current situation with the storage in the starter house. Things are just starting to overflow a little bit and I'm starting to have to put things in chests that they don't belong and overall it's just getting very full. So the next step to take is to obviously build a storage building, but if we look around our base, we kind of live in a very hilly area and I want the storage build to be able to hold lots of chests so that we never have to worry about storage again. So I was thinking maybe instead of building an entire build, because again, we don't really have too much open space. We do over here, but I don't really want to put the storage building all the way over here. I'd rather keep bit kind of closer to the starter house I think so I was thinking that maybe we could build our storage build inside of the hill and I think this little place is the perfect location for that I tend to really space out my builds in my world kind of to my own detriment because then things don't really feel that filled out so I figured I would kind of just tuck it right here in this hill so with that being said I did start to collect some materials for the exterior of this build but I do need a bit more sand because I want to use sandstone for this build so I'm going to have to try to source sand from somewhere this whole not being able to find a desert thing is really starting to get in the way I definitely plan here soon to just go on a massive exploration trip and really really try to find a desert at all costs but in the meantime we'll just have to collect some sand from this little lake I'm going to want to build with sandstone of the smooth variety. So I'm pretty sure that we just need to make a bit of sandstone and then we can place it in a furnace to make it smooth. I think that's how that works at least. We'll just place some furnaces down and then we can start cooking up the sandstone while we are building. So like I said, we're going to be building the hobbit hole in the side of this hill. So let's just clear out a little bit of land. I hear some lava in here somewhere. Oh, there we are, a little underground lava pool, it seems. I'm honestly just going to cover it up with water because I don't really want to hear lava bubbling the whole time that I'm in my storage room. Well, if we need obsidian, note to self, there is some obsidian down here. Anyways, let's start with some spruce pillars on the corners. For the walls of the build, we're going to do a bit of birch and then also sandstone. And then we'll have a little doorway bit here with some cherry. Something kind of like this, but I would like to get the roof in before we get any further. I think that we are making progress. I kind of want this to be a bit quirkier. Okay, this is close. Ooh, the Wandering Trader is here. Hello, Wandering Trader, how are you doing? Okay, you don't really have anything to trade for us. I think that's to be expected this late in the game, unfortunately. Moving back on over to the wall, I want to create a little circle here where the doorway is. I feel like you just have to have some kind of circular shape whenever you're making a hobbit hole. And we'll place a little spruce door in there and I think that's looking pretty good. I did move this pillow over one just so that we can kind of open up this wall because I want to place a little chimney up here. So we'll just stack up some bricks and here comes the rain, but we'll do a bit of brick stackage, just kind of haphazardly. We'll mix a bit of granite in there just to give it a little bit more variety. And then last but not least, we just need to place the campfire. Okay, and let's see how that looks from the front. 
Okay, close. I do want to stack this up just a little bit more. What about that? Honestly, I think this is looking very cute. I love the little chimney. It really fills out this wall. Now that I'm looking at this though, I don't think the pink really matches the vibe as much as I love the pink. I feel like a green would look better. So maybe I have a little bit of green concrete left over from the librarian trading hall. Let's see here. Where would I have put concrete? Because I literally have no idea. Oh, right here. We have a single piece of green concrete. And this should be plenty. We'll just do a little switch out from pink to green. And what do we think about that? Okay, I think that matches the vibe so much better. Hobbit holes are honestly the most easy builds to build, I think. We're almost done. Obviously, only with the outside. The inside is a different story. Now, I just want to kind of connect the build with this hill back here with a bunch of moss. Let's just bone meal some lilac. We'll plant these around the hobbit hole and sprinkle in some of these dandelions. I think that will contrast really nicely. We'll do a bit of bone meal action. Careful to not grow too many azalea bushes because I think that will just make it look a little bit too cluttered. Okay, what are we thinking? It's almost done. I think the last thing I want to do is just to sprinkle a few azalea leaves around. And that's pretty much our finished hobbit hole. I think it turned out so good. It's so cozy and I love of the colors that I chose for this. It just feels very earthy and natural. I do want to maybe, I don't know, just like bone meal the outside of it a little bit more. Maybe get some more dandelions in here, just more little flower fields. Maybe we can plant a small carrot field or something. I think that would fit the vibe. Oh my goodness, what is the wandering trader doing? Just spinning around on the moss. I think it's so funny when mobs do that. Anyways, we're going to need to get a path in here and we'll just bring it through here and connect it right on over to this path. But now I think I would like to start clearing out a little space for our actual storage room. We now have a big stone room and I think it's 19 by 19 if I'm not mistaken. But now it's time to make this stone box into an actual storage room. For our color palette, I'd like to use a bit of cherry, oak, spruce, and dark oak. And I also want to add crimson wood to this color palette as well. But we literally have no crimson wood, so we're going to have to go on a little nether adventure to gather some. And then also just gather some other wood bits too, because this is literally all of the wood I have, and that's not going to cut it. I believe that we have found the crimson biome before, so hopefully we can refind it easily. I honestly can't remember exactly where it's at. But I believe if we head it down here, then and it'll be somewhere over this way maybe. We honestly have not done that much nether exploring, so I don't really know where anything is. Hmm, so far I'm not seeing any crimson. Luckily we have a bit of cobblestone so I can just make lots of bridges. Oh, okay, cool, there's a the crimson. And then this is our nether portal that links up to that nether portal in the middle of the ocean, if you remember. And there is our pillar going up to the nether portal we linked to the skeleton spawner. I know where we are. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing gold because honestly, I feel like it's more protective to wear my nice diamond gear than it is to swap out my good boots with gold. So sorry, piggies. And here we are, we made it to the Crimson Forest. Oh wow, so many piggies. You know, maybe we should just like stick the gold on real fast. Nothing going on here, I promise, except this baby. And I see a big and two. Oh, what? Did I literally two shot him? Is that a thing? Okay, three shots on that one. Wow, but why are there literally so many piggies? Excuse me? There's so many. So I guess it's three shots and the pigs are dead. Wait, okay, literally, why are there so many? Luckily, they kind of just get stuck right here on this ledge. So that's kind of nice. We're just kind of cheesing things here. 
Oh my gosh, I swear I've never seen this many pigs in one place. I was just trying to like thin things out a little bit, you know? Hey, baby, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, look at all of the Endermen. Oh my goodness, why are there so many? There's just so many mobs right here. Oh my gosh, why? Is this normal? Does this not seem normal? Someone please let me know because that is like the most Endermen I've seen in one area besides the end. And then all the piggies too? What is up with this place? This is awful. This is why I literally hate the nether so much. Okay, anyways, we are here for this crimson wood. I wish that I would have crafted myself an axe because I feel like that would make things just a little bit easier, but we'll just have to do without. Did I say an axe? I meant a hoe if I said an axe. Literally, let's just take a second to see how many things are over here. So many piglins, so many whatever these are, hoglins, zombified piglins, endermen, like there's so much. Well, I think we have enough stuff. We have almost three stacks of crimson, and then I also want to use maybe some shroom lights. We'll see about that, but I gathered some of those. Let me know, should I get full netherite gear before I fight the dragon or after I fight the dragon? Ooh, wait, should we just go through this portal? Why do I actually kind of want to do that? And then if we go this way, then we'll go to the skelly spawner and then it'll just, I, is this faster? I feel like this is not faster. Well, we are currently in route, so I guess we're doing it. Anyways, obviously netherite is harder to get in 1.20 but I'm really in no rush to fight the dragon, except in maybe I kind of am because I really want shulker boxes, but I don't know, just let me know what you think. I always appreciate the overworld so much more whenever I take a visit to the nether. Ooh, we just witnessed a sploot. Thank you so much for the picture pod. I've been coming up here and breeding the cows because we are going to need a lot of leather today for item frames. But it is now time to start collecting lots and lots of wood. I kind of want to do just like a wood collecting marathon just so that I have so much wood so I don't have to collect it for a while because I'm having to collect wood for every single build and it's just starting to get old. We have a ton of stone and cobblestone so if i'm ever going to have to build anything with stone and cobblestone in mass quantities then i'm not going to have to collect it and it's going to feel so nice and i kind of want to do that with all of the wood too well enough chit chat these trees are going to chop themselves so let me get busy chopping <laughs> Wood has been gathered and now we just need to collect a few more materials for this build. I do want to place some auto smelters in here, so we're going to need some hoppers. And also I did do some caving in between episodes. I uploaded a long play, a little caving long play if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below. But now we have lots of materials and resources, including 21 diamonds. I know I'm going to need like so many hoppers for this. I think like, I don't know, 12? Does that sound like the right number? I'm not sure. Yes, I do believe we need 12 hoppers. Let's start with this and see how far all of these materials take us. And we do have a pillager patrol way over there. It's been a while since we've seen those guys around here, but they are back, unfortunately, but we'll just leave them. I am actually so excited to get this storage room in. It's going to be so nice and so much more fun to build and play with a proper storage room. We are going to kind of step down into the storage room. So we'll do some cherry stairs like this and then just build up with some stripped spruce logs. And also I did make this room big enough to have the ceiling. So the ceiling will go on this layer. So I'm not going to make things go all the way up, if that makes sense. Now over here is where we're going to have that little auto smelter and we're going to do it on either side. So we'll just kind of mirror it. I don't know why it always takes me so long to build auto smelters in my world, but it kind of does. They're literally so handy. I don't know why it takes me so long. So I think we do it like this and then we build up with some hoppers. We'll place the furnaces. We'll need some more hoppers going into the furnaces. And then I think chests from here and then some more hoppers and then more chests. And I 
think that's it, right? Maybe, let's test this out. I'm just going to grab a bit of coal and some raw iron. We'll put the raw iron at the top and then the coal at the back and it should output here. Okay, wait, it's cooking in there. Things are happening. Yay, it works. Okay, cool. So we'll just copy the same thing on this other side. We're pretty much never going to see this wall back here, but I do want to just cover it with some cherry just to keep things neat and tidy. We'll add some stairs up here so that we can open up the chests. Add some oak on the floors. And I think like this, we won't be able to see any ugly bits like stone and dirt. Let's add some spruce trap doors to hide the hoppers. And that pretty much does it for our little auto smelters. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Now this is where the crimson comes in. Our very first time building with crimson wood. How exciting. So I just want to do a little pop of crimson wood. I don't really want it to be a main building block. So it's going to kind of be behind the chests just peeping out. Let's just fill this out a little bit more so that you can see exactly what I'm thinking. The floors will mostly be oak, so I want to make sure I'm adding the floors before I'm adding the chests, because if I do it afterwards, then it's just going to be a huge pain. Let's build up the crimson, and then we're just going to stack the chests like so. In the middle, I want to add barrels just for a little bit more variety. We'll come across with the spruce. I really should have brought scaffolding, I just didn't think about it. But this is what I meant by the ceiling thing. I made it high enough so that I can just go ahead and add the ceiling right in without having to mine out an extra layer. We'll do a dark oak trim kind of around and then fill it in with some spruce. This project is definitely using a lot of wood. I think you can now see what I'm kind of going for. Of course, we need to get in here and detail, but I'm just going to copy the same design over here. And then again, too, on the other side, this storage room is mostly going to be mirrored on both sides, mostly as in it literally is going to be. On the back wall, I want to do a row of chests sideways like this so that we're able to just fit so many more. I really like the aesthetic of them facing forward. I just think this looks so good, but I do want this storage room to hold a bunch of storage. So we're going to have a row of chests like this as well. So let me go ahead and get both walls of these chests in and then we'll do the back together. our way through the storage build. Now we just have to do the back wall and then the middle of the storage room. Like I was saying, back here, we're going to do those sideways chests. So we're just going to do the same kind of walls that we've been doing on the sides back here. I did chop down some more trees because chests are expensive. I love whenever I have the perfect amount of wood. Stacking the chest like this is going to provide us with so much extra storage. Okay, and that's that side. Now we just had to copy the same thing over here. And now this side is finished. And that's the completed back wall. I'm thinking over here on these chests, I wanna do things like, I don't know, things that I'm going to reach for all the time. And then maybe back here, we can do things that we're not going to reach for as often. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to organize this, but I am very excited to get in here and begin organizing. Definitely let me know if you like organizing in Minecraft or do you despise it? But in the middle, we're going to have these support beams and then just stack more chests kind of like this. I think this will be all of the chests we're going to add. This should be more than enough. At least I'm hoping so. We'll make these little archways just to give things a little bit more variety and even one here in the center. I want you to have just a ring of dark oak just to kind of separate the spruce on the walls and then the spruce on the ceiling. And maybe we can do another stripe here too. 
with this ceiling done, it's beginning to look a lot more finished in here. I do want to maybe add just a little bit more variety where I can in the ceiling because there is a lot of spruce and dark oak tones, especially spruce, honestly. There's a lot of spruce down here, but maybe the oak floor will kind of break up the spruce a little bit. And because storage rooms literally use so much wood, we are going to be using slabs on the floor. Let's add a stripe of crimson stem. And I think that I do want to strip it, though this texture is so cool. Like that is kind of a vibe, isn't it? I don't know, should we do that? I've never just used unstripped stem before. It could be kind of cool. Wait, the sound? That's so cool. I like it whenever we look at the storage room like this, but if we look over here and we see that green, then I don't really like it as much. I wonder if we should just cover the green maybe? It's kind of killing the vibe of the storage room, honestly, okay? That's not awful. Literally, the outside versus the inside don't match at all. Look at the outside, it's like so cozy and earthy, and then the inside, it's all like red and pink and then just wood tones. Moving back on over to these chests, I do think that I want to kind of scoot it forward a little bit so we can see the stripe a little bit and the pillar a little bit better. And then if we wanted to, we could play some barrels like that. I think this is good, I like this. But maybe we can do a little trap door situation here. Something kind of like that. Now we did collect these shroom lights and I did mention that I wanted to use them. So let me show you what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe here, we can add a little shroom light and then place a crimson trapdoor over it like that. And we'll do the same thing on all of these spruce pillar bits. Any reason that I have to add a bit more crimson to this build, I'm going to take it. I always talk about sounds in Minecraft and sounds that I really like, but what are some sounds that you don't like in Minecraft? Let me know. I kind of don't like the sound of placing shroom lights. I don't know, something about it, I just don't like it. I need to get my stone cutter out here and I know it is nighttime, I heard a zombie. Don't mind me mobs, don't mind me, just here to get my stone cutter. Let's add some little lanterns here on these pillars because I do think this place needs a little bit more light. Maybe we can add some hidden light sources in the ground because I do think the ground is looking pretty dark. But overall, I think this place is pretty much finished. I do think the uh, floor needs just a little bit more variety. It's very plain right now. Maybe we can add some kind of carpet or something. I'm not quite sure yet, but I do want to start organizing everything in here. I'm literally so excited. I probably should not be this excited to organize my storage room in Minecraft, but I am. So I'm going to go ahead and get busy doing that. I'm not going to make you all sit through the whole process because it's definitely going to take a while. I'll just show you how I organize everything after I'm finished. I'm just moving everything into my storage room and I'm not kidding. Whenever I say that this is the third pillager patrol that I've seen, I swear that I'll not see them for like a whole two episodes straight and then I'll just have like three in one episode. Anyways, moving items is going well. I'm just going to continue doing this until I'm finished. I literally swear, what is up with these pillagers? And that one has a banner. Oh my gosh, please leave me alone. I killed the rest of them, but then I guess this guy uh, decided to hunt me down. I'd be lying if I said that he didn't scare me. Where are you now? Do you just not want to be found? You quite literally meet me at my doorstep, and then whenever I come to greet you, you're not here. That is actually so rude. Okay, let's continue with the storage build organizing. Let's see how many more times I can get interrupted. Also, look how much dirt I have, literally so much. There's literally another pillager patrol right there on top of the hill. It seems like they just love to spawn here for some reason. I just can't seem to move my stuff without another patrol interrupting me. I am actually done organizing the storage room now, so everything is in its rightful place. I'll just give you a quick little tour. We have logs over here and then other wood bits here. All of the foliage and greenery. Some 
some nether stuff and honestly just a bunch of empty rows that I don't know what to do with quite yet. And then this is kind of like the messiest part of the storage room. It's just miscellaneous stuff, but we have like tools and then like uh, just random stuff, honestly. Uh, some more like decorating blocks, I guess, over here. And then I was thinking this is kind of like the potions magic row, I guess. Over here, we have our dirt bits and sand bits and like shovel bits, you know, like anything that you would mine with a shovel um, and then things that derive from the things you mine with a shovel. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does in my brain. We have our stone bits here and I need to label these chests because I do have stuff in them. There we go. And last but not least, we have mining and mob drops. So the more I stay in this little storage room, the more I can realize what works and what doesn't. And I can always move things around if I realize that another method of organizing would be better. All of that being said, we are about to begin wrapping up this little project here. I want to get some red carpets in, I think. I think it will match really nicely with this crimson stem. So I'm just waiting on the sheep to eat at the sheep sheep farm then i'm going to dye them red okay the cows are just escaping that is lovely but this sheep has eaten so we'll go ahead and dye him red and add the shears back to the dispenser literally why are you all leaving why is this a thing that you all have decided to do i understand that there is a block there but come on now while we are waiting on the wool farm to collect some red wool, I want to make that little carrot field that I was talking about. I honestly think this little area will be the perfect place for it, so we'll just go ahead and plant it here. I don't really want anything too large, just something that will add a little pop of color and just a little bit more variety to this area. Maybe we can add a cute little fence back here. I love that we can now waterlog leaves. And I think that will about do it for our carrot field, honestly. Oh wait, the bees love it. That's actually so cute. I wonder if we should bring that little beehive over here. That could be kind of cute, right? Now the question is, can I silk touch this without them getting angry at me? Do I have to place a campfire under it? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, he's not mad. And we'll just place it right here. I love that. That's so cute. Pretty much the last thing that we need to do out here is just add a little pathway. And instead of coarse dirt to texture the path, I'm going to add just a little bit of rooted dirt just to switch things up a little bit. Wait, I kind of want to add a well. Wouldn't that be so cute? I feel like we just have to, right? I kind of want to make another mud well because I think they're kind of cute. I think the outside is pretty much finished. Definitely let me know what you think about it. I think it turned out so good and I really like the overgrown vibe vibe of the hobbit hole i added lots of grass i just bone mulled everywhere so we have lots of grass coming up and i think it looks really good and the inside of the storage room is so different from the outside i definitely did not intend to make it so different it just kind of happened but i'm just going to add some red carpet down and i think it matches pretty nicely what do we think if you have a better color suggestion definitely let me know but I don't think the red looks too bad. I do want to add just a little bit of light here because like I was saying before, I do think it's a bit dark. So we'll just place some torches underneath the carpet like that. Here in the center, maybe we'll just like place the crafting table and then the stone cutter on either side like this. And we can even place our inner chest like that. And I feel like we kind of need a bed in here because we're probably going to be spending the majority of our time inside the storage room. I kind of want to hide the bed underneath the carpet. Is that dumb? I don't know, but I don't really want to just stick it out here because I feel like it doesn't match the vibe. So part of me kind of just wants to hide it here and then we can just break it and sleep and then it'll be fine. I don't know, maybe that's dumb, but I think I'm going to do it for now. Honestly, I'm probably going to have a bed in my inventory anyways. It's just nice to have the option here. Well, with that, I think that I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I am so excited to finally have a storage room and it definitely makes me more inspired for future builds whenever I have all of my stuff in its own little place. Let me know what you think about today's project. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much much for watching. Bye!